Welcome to another Atlassian Demo Den. My name is Matt Cannon. I'm a product manager on the Jira Cloud Issue Experience team. We look after the issue view across all Jira products. We've been hard at work enhancing the new issue view. And today in this Demo Den, I want to walk you through three key things. The first is features that we've recently released to the new issue view that we're really excited about. The second is configuration options that admins have over the layout of their issue. And third, I want to give you an exciting sneak peek into what's coming next and some features that we're currently working on internally. First of all, if you're still using the old issue view and you want to give the new issue view a try, you can just go to your Jira personal settings, scroll down to Jira Labs and toggle them on. Let's take a look at some of the key differences between the old and the new issue view. You'll notice in the new issue view that your fields mostly sit on the right hand side. Any field that's particularly useful can be pinned to the top, so it's always available. And your admin can configure fields to show below the show more dropdown if they're empty. Another key change is that you now transition an issue through a workflow using the transition dropdown. You told us that you needed more power from attachments in the new issue view. So we've overhauled the attachments panel. First of all, you'll note that attachments from around the issue, even those in comments, are aggregated into this panel. Using this three dot menu, you can easily download all attachments or switch to our new list view. The new list view allows you to see even more metadata about attachments and filter on different points of metadata to make attachments even easier to find. We've worked hard over the past year to close some of the big feature gaps between the old and new issue view. We've certainly got more to go, but I wanted to show you some that we've worked on recently. You can now add web links directly to the new issue view. Also, when adding comments, you can update the security level to choose who you want to see this comment. Once you've created a comment, you can also copy a permalink, a direct link to this comment which a user can visit. We know that admins need the ability to create a layout that is right for them and right for their teams. That's why we've introduced more control over the layout of the issue in the new issue view. Let me show you how this works and later I'll show you what is coming soon to the configuration experience. Project admins are able to access the layout configuration through project settings or by clicking on the configure button in the bottom right. This is the issue layout configuration page. You can see that we've got description fields which generally describe fields which are on the left hand side of the issue context fields describing fields on the right hand side of the issue, and hidden fields which are fields that don't show anywhere on the issue. Project admins are able to easily come in here and reorder fields however they see fit, or hide them if they don't want to see them. This includes the order of fields in the description fields area. Project admins are also able to specify which fields they want to hide when empty. And now onto an exciting sneak peek of what's coming next. Admins have been telling us that they need more control over the layout of an issue so they can lay out their issues in a way that works for them and for their teams. This is an issue that looks just like any other we've encountered before, but in this case it's on an internal staging instance where we test some of our latest features. Let's go to the layout configuration for this issue, and you can see that this layout configuration looks just like it did before. We've got our fields that exist on the left hand side and fields that exist on the right hand side. What we can do now is we can take a field like assignee and not only can we move it around within the right hand side but we can also bring it over to the left hand side. We can do this with fields like assignee, labels, any field that we like above or below the description. When we're done we can save changes, head back to the issue view and reload and we can see that any field we like our most important fields can be placed on the left hand side of the issue. Keep an eye out for these changes as they come to the new issue view in Jira Cloud. Continuing with the theme of showing a few things that are going to be coming to Jira soon, I want to talk about tabs. Tabs show in the new view as these glance panels. And users have told us that this extra click is not always very convenient for their workflows. So I want to show you a design concept of something that we're currently working on. This is a prototype showing where we want to take the issue view. You'll notice that tabs now appear on the top left hand side of an issue. We treat them just how we did in the old issue view. We're also working on the concept of admin defined collapsible groups. 
Admins can use this as a tool to create an issue view that is just right for their team. Those with a keen eye may have noticed this new button at the top of the issue view. This is an example of a global loop transition, and we're bringing them back to the new issue view by displaying them alongside the status dropdown. Going back to our internal testing instance of Jira, some of you may have noticed that voting is coming back to the issue view. It's something we're already testing and something that will be coming soon. Jira Power users have told us how they use the dot menu to efficiently move around and edit parts of an issue. We're bringing that back to the new issue view. By hitting dot on the keyboard, you can open the menu and then you can efficiently search for a field to edit and edit it all from the keyboard. In addition to the sneak peek I just showed you, we're also building a range of features that will be coming to the new issue view soon, including rolling up time estimates from subtasks, showing the remaining estimate field when time tracking apps are enabled, amongst so many other things. So today we've looked at some of the benefits of the new issue view. We looked at pinned fields, the new editor experience, and a whole new way of working with attachments. We also took a sneak peek into some controls that are coming to admins very soon to allow them to have more flexibility over how they lay out an issue. The new issue view has come a long way, and as you can see, there's still a lot more to come. We're doubling down on making this experience the right experience for all of our customers. If you aren't using the new issue view already, I really hope you'll give it a try and give us some feedback. We always love hearing from you. Thank you for joining me in this demo, Dan, and we'll see you next time.